Hello everybody, my name is Jay Bongo and I just finished doing the daytime portion of our speed walk vlog. Um, so finally left, I have my little brother join me. Um, he's still outside, but he's being very quiet. Very quiet. He's laughing right now and he's not trying to make it too loud so he doesn't get detected on camera. But um, what he was doing was kind of like short-term goal setting, which is some, a skill that a lot of people I don't think really have as adults. So what he was doing was he was counting his laps and then counting to which lap he wanted to reach. Like he was at 20, for instance, and wanted to reach 25 and then eventually reach 40. And then while he was doing that, he was setting a, a goal for himself at each point. And I think that's important in life as well, because when you're going for something, you want to set short-term goals before you hit long-term goals. And for a lot of people, this might seem pretty obvious, but there are some people that have issues goal setting. So they need to, you need to relearn kind of how to set your own goals. And I think I'm kind of one of those people sometimes, but I'm definitely like, I'm trying to get better with it. So, like I said yesterday, I was just going to do a 30-minute um, walk. Like I wasn't doing a 30-minute 30, 30 speed walk, and I wasn't just going to use the walking with weights due to the weirdness with my wrist, which is fine now. But tonight is where we start to do the 15-minute, 15 15-minute 15 weirdness, where 15 minutes I will be doing strength stuff, and the, and the last 15 minutes I'll be doing um, speed walking. It is fine to do cardio, after you do weights, but you can't do it for too long. So 15 minutes is the absolute max for that. And I think my issue was I was trying to combine the two and ended up just kind of hurting myself, so I'm not going to do that again. No. So, that's sort of it with the recap. I guess what I wanted to talk about is that it's kind of been a roughly quiet day. Um, this dude over here is off for, till like Monday, um, right? Yeah, off till Monday. He spoke. Oh no! Now nah, I'll be fine. Um, and I just want to say, um, happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. And I hope we get to see. The same stuff we usually see on Thanksgiving, just a little weird. So, I don't know about you guys, but my mom let me have two Thanksgivings. I have a Thanksgiving with family, and I have Thanksgiving with my friends on Friday. It's called Friendsgiving. It's a really cool idea. It's a, a way to help keep us connected, and we haven't done that since COVID hit. So, it's, um, it's good. And since I'm vaccinated, I can make it. Isn't it a fun time? He thinks it's a fun time too, but he can't go. Oh, now he's mad. You got Roblox at home, shut up. Um, maybe next time. If mom says yes. So, yeah. I will be riding to a Friendsgiving after another Thanksgiving, so that means double the, the good clothes. I have to wear good clothes. I can't just wear a hoodie. So, let me know, um, if you feel like commenting, let me know what your Thanksgiving slash, if you do a Friendsgiving similar to that. Let me know how that goes. I'm genuinely curious to see what other people do for Thanksgiving. Uh, unrelated, but I know in Japan, um, they sometimes, some people, celebrate with KFC. Because... Um, the Japanese branch of KFC wanted to sell more KFC and the guy that suggested the idea was like, why don't we do a holiday sale? And that is why KFC is popular in Japan. He lied. He lied and said, oh, oh, like when other Japanese people asked, they were like, do Americans really eat KFC on Christmas? And he said, yes. He said, yes. And now KFC makes a lot of money in Japan. So, um, if any, anyone from Japan has any Christmas with KFC stories, please let me know. I genuinely want to know how that is. Because in the States, it's considered trash. It's, to us, it's considered kind of trashy to have um, 
fast food or junk food on the holidays. So. I'm not saying you guys are trashy, I'm just saying that's how the country is. We, we don't like fast food on holidays for some reason. Anyways, I have been Jay Bungo, you all have been awesome, including this guy. And I will see you in the next video later tonight. Bye-bye.